So far, you're not, not worth well to the game number three of the Stanley Cup finals. And we got the returning grizzled young veteran battling in his corners. It's Marty Roberts, of course, professional hockey player. Taylor Woods, nice headphones there, Taylor. Nice headphones. And the returning, he was, you know, he had to come for the Stanley Cup final. Justin Levine, just to reminisce, Montreal Canadiens losing the Tampa Bay Lightning last year, just reminiscing a little bit about it. But I'll start off with Taylor. Boy, what a different game three. Tampa winning it 6-2. to two. we got a series now. Colorado still leads games to one but give me your estimation or give me what happened your thoughts on what happened for game three here in amelie arena man i guess you just want that home crowd and like uh they started to chant it's like oh send them home send them home and it was like no you want to keep them here because that's when you win right so uh huge change of events you know what they they got more shots on net and you could sort of see like the defense scramble that's sort of what what I said last time is like, hey, they're scrambling. Uh, like, you need to get shots in order for the defense to uh, create that chaos because they have so many breakouts. So, um, and then yeah, Colorado. Now you got to sort of answer the call. Um, I think it's just again their top six forwards. They got to produce something. They got to get shots from odd angles, um, and you got to sort of just change the flow of the game, change the tempo, right? McKinnon. Uh, he's trying a little bit too hard. Uh, I think he just needs to calm it down a little bit, change up the lines. I don't think that top pair is going to, uh, that top line there is a good fit um, just with their style. But um, we'll we'll see what goes forward. Every game's something different, which, which that's exciting. So, All right. I just got a, a note from Steve Carney who uh, who just told me because Tampa wins Steve Carney wants the battle with Marty Roberts in the corner by the way Steve Carney's here oh! <laughs> of course he All shows right. up today he didn't show up for the seven nothing loss though I was working I'm sorry <laughs> I thought you were working right. tonight too. first of all I a, no I, I worked this morning I had a, oh. I had a complex league game as opposed to a Florida State league game. We don't know when he's working, when he's not. He's a major league baseball executive. Come on. Which, All right. Which, by, which, by the way, thank thanks a lot uh, for game two. I had a three-hour and 59-minute game, and that did not include a one-hour <laughs> and 46-minute rain delay. <laughs> All right, Steve. Hate since you're back, <laughs> you're back in Tampa, St. Petersburg area. You just came in. You're the reigning. Defending, I love seeing that. Like I'm Paul Heyman, Steve. Uh, yeah, look at him. He's kissing. By the way, Steve, kissing since Justin right. is here, you haven't seen him since last year. Uh, who did Tampa Bay beat last year in the Stanley Cup Finals? Uh, that would be the Campbell Conference winning uh, Montreal Canadiens. All right. So tonight, Steve, a little bit different. Uh, uh, I'll go around the table after Steve with uh, Marty and Justin. But <clears throat> you think and. Uh, what's the buzz in Tampa after winning, losing seven nothing, and winning six two tonight? Uh, two words: momentum stopped. Uh, that's exactly what we saw uh, tonight. And and really, they go down one nothing, and you're thinking, uh oh, this could be a big problem. But then they just come right roaring back, and they really made um, Darcy Kemper look like a ECHL goalie uh, today. <laughs> Because, I, I mean, they, they peppered him with shots. Uh, Kemper really had no answer for anything today. And, you know, when, when you end up having to pull him uh, after the uh, the second period and, and put Frank Kuz back in, and Frank Kuz let up, or, or in, in the second period, I should say, and Frank Kuz let up goal two uh, in one of his first couple of shots. So, uh, yeah, like I, I've always, I always talk about how, Seven game series never starts till a home team loses. So here we are. We're still waiting for this uh, this series to really get started. Steve, you're becoming like Norm Lumack, repeating stuff for 45 times already. Marty, hey, did yeah, he if you want, I'll start talking about Chelsea and Syracuse University and Steelers. just have some crackers, Steve. Just have some crackers and peanut butter. All right, come on. Crackers and Based on your salary that I'm giving you. All right, all right Marty, go ahead. Well, yeah, Tampa did what they had to tonight. You know, 30, what, 32 shots? They had 16 last game. They knew they had to fire pucks on net. They did that. Vasilevsky played really good tonight. He made some big saves that keep them off the board. 
you know, and, and that's what they have to do. So we'll see if it, Kucherov injury, how serious is it? He left the game. I don't know how serious it is. We'll see if um, if it is serious or not. If it is, then that could be another guy out because Point didn't play tonight. If Kucherov has to miss any time, that could make uh, a little bit of a hill for Tampa Bay to climb. All right, Justin, I haven't heard from you from uh, like last year, but go ahead. Your thoughts on uh, game three. Yeah, this is a, a really fun one. I mean, of course, that being if you're a Tampa Bay fan, of course, and while I uh, favor, well, I'm going to be the neutral person here and I just say I enjoyed watching the, what, what ended up being a really good hockey game today. And what I really enjoyed was seeing how, um, you know, various parts of Tampa's lineup worked together tonight in order to achieve this win. Now, um, you know, in past series, I've had Colorado as my winner and uh, watching their 7 nothing victory in uh, the last game, you know, I was kind of convinced that the Avs were um, going to pull through with this easily. But that being said, um, you know, the Lightning are known as the Champion Bay Lightning for a reason because they, you know, they, they are led by someone who, he, you know, he has experience. And he knows what he's doing. And these players, I mean, the roster never really changes. Um, and, you know, you're led by guys, again, Stamkos, Kucherov, we talk of again, um, to assist tonight. You know, this is what guys like that do. And, yeah, you're missing guys like Braden Point, as uh, Marty mentioned. But, um, you know, what will be interesting to me is if Point and Kucherov is out for the next one. Um, which is entirely cool. But either way, um, you know, obviously Colorado, it goes without saying they have their work cut out for them. And I look forward to seeing what the rest of this uh, series presents and seeing if Colorado is able to work their way back and uh, hoist the cup in the end. All right. I'll go uh, to Taylor here. Since, uh, like Steve said, we have a new series. What do you expect? Give us a small preview of what you expect the game four here. Do we go back to. Uh, to uh, uh, Colorado tied 2-2, or is it 3-1 heading chance to win the Stanley Cup in Colorado on, I guess, Friday? Ew. Well, no, so I called Colorado in six. Um, I think game four is just going to be Boo, Steve, boo, boo, boo. Come on, boo that Steve. woman, boo. I don't want a three-peat. <laughs> There's no such thing as a three-peat. So, um I think game four is going to be our toss up. I think this is sort of the like game four is going to be the game that everyone sort of expected to watch. I think everyone's going to like both teams are going to know uh, how each team operates. Um, let's, I'm just going to, yeah, I'm going to go with Colorado on this one. Just having that edge. Uh, the top line is going to find it. Uh, their D four is going to be a little bit more solid um, and they're just going to play for each other. So. All right, um, Marty, what do you expect in, in game four? Because you picked Mar – remember, Steve, he picked Colorado in five. Do you want to make a, a friendly wager with Steve Carter? Mm, twice. <laughs> <laughs> Tampa's got to do the same thing they did tonight. they got to just shoot the puck on net. That's what they have to – Colorado's goaltending isn't the greatest. That's their weakest spot that they have is their goaltending. And shoot the puck on net, things happen, and that's what happened tonight. So I expect the same to come out. On um, on game four, I expect the exact same thing, and hopefully Tampa Bay has both Kucherov and Point in the in the lineup to make it uh, uh, another good game. Uh, do you know who a guy named Tyler Roberts is or here because he's saying Colorado in six? Steve, put him too, right? Yeah, yeah. Tyler gets booed too. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Um, look, game four. I, I agree with Taylor. Uh, completely this is the game that everybody's going to want to watch this is the game that is going to determine what the momentum is for this uh for this series because if they go back to colorado with this thing tied up to two you know I, I i think that i think that this is this is a series that the that is now the lightnings to lose if they go back three one obviously uh the avalanche have just one game uh to to win out of the last three to to capture the Stanley Cup, and so I, I really do think that uh, for the Lightning, uh, for this to work for the Lightning, uh, I think Marty is right. You got to you got to put the puck on net. It doesn't matter who's in net if it's Frank Kuz, if it's Kemper, it doesn't matter. You got to put the puck in the net. Really, the the most important thing is to try and keep the top line, which Taylor was talking about, out of the attacking zone. If you can keep uh, you know, the McKinnon Landeskog line, uh, you know, on the other side of the blue line, uh, you're, you're going to be in really good shape as much as you can. 
So uh, first of all, Justin, I, I just got a text from Charles Barkley, and uh, he, he says he, he, he says was, Justin. Was, Justin is terrible. He, he thought he thought Carl Bukostis was the president of provinces of Canada, saying I'm the sexiest man in in uh, in Canada here. Okay, Charles, you need to get your your glasses on here if you're going to say Char uh, Carl with his hair and all that. Come on. That's terrible, Joe. That's terrible. <laughs> All right, thank you, Cardi Charles. Go ahead, Justin. What did you expect for uh, Game Four? Uh, well, I can tell you what I'd like to see, and that would be Colorado climbing their way uh, out of this hole and you know. Boo, Steve, boo him because, also. Boo, you get booed too, Levine. <laughs> you know what? Fair, fair enough. You don't have enough thumbs, it. Justin. I would like to see Colorado, you know, show that this was just a blip for them and uh, pull off in six games. I think, I think that would be. You know, ideal uh, in my mind for the best scenario. Um, now, that's you know, is that necessarily going to be easy? Again, no. Tampa's lineup again barely changes. So, um, you know, again, keep keeping in mind uh, what you just mentioned with uh, keeping uh, the you know the right guys of Colorado on the other side of the blue line. Obviously, the most important thing um, because they were able to do that tonight because Landis Gog in the end was the only guy who came out. Uh, you know, offensively uh, giving them any you know any points to the, uh, to their name. So. Um, you know, again, if they can kind of play the way they did tonight, um, Tampa's probably got this in the bag. But what I'd like to see uh, the Avs, you know, not give them uh, three consecutive Stanley Cup wins. Absolutely. So um, I expect Colorado to show that this was uh, just a blip. And uh, I don't know. We'll see what we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens tomorrow. But um, I'm fairly confident that the Avs will find their way back. Justin's a little bit pissed off. Corey Perry scored for a, a fourth different team. In a, a Stanley Cup uh, final game, there he Justin still wishes he was with uh, Montreal. And by and, by the it, way, Justin, you know, you know what? Perry's nothing special for me like, compared to others. It looks like you're going to lose another Montreal Canadian. It looks like the Toronto Maple Leafs are honing their eyes on Josh Anderson. I've also I've also heard stuff about Jeff Petrie. Um, Dallas is looking at him. Um, I think Philly is also in on. Yeah, who does Montreal have? They get the number one, but then they lose everybody. Who they have? I don't obviously, know. they're going to ask Marty to come out of retirement. That that's obviously what's going to happen. Plus, I've also had heard last week something about the Devils and Habs talking about flipping picks one and two, which kind of sounded dumb and not realistic to me, but. Then again, that's not gonna uh, happen. It, it, exactly, it would you never. Two men going to New Jersey. That's never gonna right. happen, it, man. Come it, on. It, it, it would never happen, and quite frankly, I don't believe that that's what Wright wants. Plus, why would you go for your number one pick? It just doesn't really, you know, logistically make a lot of sense. Anyways, that was all before the trade last week that Kent Hughes made. So I think that talk is officially dead. But um, yeah, that's, that's like that's like saying that the Islanders are gonna go back and play in the right. in the Coliseum. Exactly. <laughs> right. It's just one of those things that's so unrealistic that it's not even worth what have, that that conversation having been had in the first place. So um, I don't know as far as what the Habs are going to do from here. Um, I don't want to lose Anderson because I actually ah, you know, who cares about the Habs, man? They, they will never win me. the Stanley Cup again. <laughs> by the by, the way, do the Islanders keep the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum up just in case? This arena doesn't work for him, too. That, that's a good one. Yes. You know what? Uh, maybe. <laughs> All right, Steve, I'll start off with you. Game four, Braden Point. Uh, you know, today he didn't play, but closer to end of the series, Point is probably going to play. Do you, does he play? What's your estimation? Does he play in game four? And I'll go to Taylor. Does Kadri play at all in this series? First with Steve, about Point. Well, I, I, I want to mention what, what Taylor had talked about there, uh, because with if Kucherov doesn't play, I expect Point to play. Uh, if Kucherov is is okay to play in Game Four, you may hold him off uh, for maybe going back to Colorado in, in Game Five, but uh, to try and get him because he's obviously you know we saw him in Games One and Two. He's not anywhere close to a hundred percent. You know he's getting beat up uh, and. You know when you're not, when he's not 100, percent it's very tough to leave him out there on the ice. So uh, I think that if if Kucherov can't play, you'll see you'll see point in there. If Kucherov can play, I think they hold him out. All right, and uh, Taylor, what do you think? Uh, Kadri does he play at all during this series? 
Well, also, first uh, thing to note is, like, also Nick Paul, right? He got hurt. He could barely yeah. even skate out there, and he was just trying to push and everything. So uh, he's an important guy, I would say, probably even, like, top three of these playoffs, like, for their playoff run. So um, that's also de- going to determine, like, their three that's going to play. But I think Kadri, even if you throw him in, um, like, he's not going to be uh, fully effective to what he can be. But, of course, he's going to be that character guy. He's going to make those hits. He can protect a finger a little bit better than like a hip or a knee so um i think he's going to come back and i think that's going to spark a little bit of energy for them marty uh she, she talked about uh paul there uh, i you don't know marty actually knows the, the rest of the panel doesn't know uh, paul is the best friends of justin levine guys hockey play last name paul best friend of justin levine right justin um no but like okay sure i i i, 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 you know, I, always, I thought i thought i thought justin's best friend was logan paul um yeah no, well logan, logan paul had a fight with the rock also so let's not talk about that one all right so but you know uh speaking about paul he's been effective for tampa this whole playoff run uh, i'll start off with uh, and that's somebody and and I think he's a free agent, right, Steve? I think he's a free agent there. That's somebody yeah, I'm so. telling you. The, the Leafs are going to have their eye on him. But, Marty, go ahead with that one. You got the Leafs getting everyone, Joseph. No, no, no. I, I, yeah, they only got I, a couple I'm million dollars in cap space. Right, right here, Mikhailev, from what I heard, Mikhailev is going to your team, Marty. Pittsburgh Penguins. Wow. First, the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins, their priority now supposedly is Latang over Melkin. Latang is the the priority over Melkin is what I what I read. I, I think it would go the other way around. I'd go Melkin over Latang. That's and if that's what they're thinking, I, I'd be money. thinking Sorry. about it again because Melkin's a guy that I think you need there. Latang, he's declined over the last couple of years. I think so. We'll we'll see what happens there. But you know, everyone, every every Stanley Cup winner or run has a guy like Paul that just steps up out of nowhere. And Paul has done that this playoffs, right? He's he's been there and he he keeps doing it. And you know, kudos to him for that. We'll see what happens uh, with with Kadri for next game. It wouldn't surprise me if Kadri does suit up next game just to be out there for a physical type of presence, not to score any goals, but just to be a physical presence out there. Because he did tweet, "Don't count him out." Yeah, don't count him out. So uh, getting back to the National Hockey League, Justin, we'll talk about Montreal for one second. Steve, here we go. I'm going to ask Justin the question that you want me to ask. Give me your memories of Shea Weber. <laughs> memories of Shea Weber. Um, you know, the, the time he actually played on the ice, um, effective. but I Actually, like give me your that. memory, new memory of Shea Weber playing in Vegas. Because I don't know if he is going to play oh. in Vegas ever. The answer to that is no. He's never going to play in Vegas. Uh, this was a salary dump deal for Evgeny Dadanov, um, and you know I think Dadanov is thankful that that happened finally, um, considering his last trade fell through with Anaheim. Um, you know Montreal could use him, and for uh, and for them, it's it's also a good deal. You know that's a guy who they don't they're probably not going to retain next year. Will he play a lot of minutes? Um, you know in this coming season. I can't see that really being the case, um, but, you know, he'll be a utility man that they can call on and uh, play some as they see fit throughout the season. But I don't see him being – he's not the important figure of everything they're doing this offseason. What, the things they want to achieve are, again, Jeff Petrie. That is right now where they're front and center trying to find a deal where they can get someone who they believe um, – matches his value. Now, Josh Anderson, that was a name that you mentioned as well. Um, I haven't really heard a lot right there. I would personally hate to lose him as a Montreal Canadiens fan. Uh, and I think the team would be hard pressed to find someone who can perform the way that he has given that. I don't think anyone, even the Habs expect him to perform the way he has given. He had a major arm surgery before he signed. So, or rather was acquired. So, um, I don't know. I'm not really sure what I expect of this Montreal Canadiens team, if you want me to be honest, as of right now. But I do expect that Petrie will not be back. That's the order of business number one. Justin is on the panel, and Taylor's sending me a talk to ask Justin about the latest about the Montreal team in P or PHF. So give me, give me the latest on Montreal coming to the PHF. That's from Taylor. 
Right. <laughs> we it, it appears that we're still waiting. Um, again, I'm no one of knowledge as of now to share anything further. But um, it, you know, the boy, I, Taylor, why you want me to ask him that question? He's not saying anything. He's worse than I, Steve, that major league baseball executive. By the way, the Tampa Bay Rays lost to the Yankees. Fifty wins for the Yankees this year. Fifty in sixty-seven okay, games. Yeah, not only not only did not only did the Rays lose to the Yankees, they also lost both Manuel Margot and Kevin Kiermeyer in tonight's game. Both going on the IL, both expected to miss a significant period of time. Do you see uh, uh, Manuel Margot? I thought that yes. was uh, the Mrs. the Mrs. Mother-in-law. Never mind, Steve. Come on, that's her name. All right. So, uh, what's back here? Game four. I'll go to you. I know you're going to be on a uh, Taylor. You, I know you're going to be on the post game show for game four. But you said who? Uh, Colorado's going to win. Uh, I'm going to go with Colorado. I think I think it's going to be a, the game of the series, though. It's going to dictate like how it's going to go. Uh, but I think it's just going to be it's going to be a fun one. So very entertaining. Steve already has texted me. Like last uh, show, you said you're going to move trucks. All these people right? texting Joe and their hands yeah. never no, move. Listen to me, Marty. Wait, she's going to move <laughs> trucks. She said she's in competition to move trucks. Put Justin on there. You got like maybe five pounds more when you move the truck. Okay, so that's it. When's that? This weekend? Uh, yeah, this weekend. Uh, I got to pull a semi truck through a town and I got a deadlift. Yeah. Car, so, uh, be Steve, have you ever done that? Have I ever done that? I'm I, I am a car. <laughs> I I deadlift a car every time I stand up. <laughs> All right. So um, Marty, since you're laughing here, what do you, what do you expect? Uh, Colorado to bounce back or what? I, I expect. I, I think it's going to be a good game. I think Tampa Bay, as much as I said shots on net as well, they have to score a little bit more on the power play. I think they're zero for three last game and one for six tonight. So one for nine in their last nine opportunities. So they got to put the a little bit of the pressure on on the power play and, and score that way when they're getting those opportunities. But I think you see Colorado bounce back, and it's going to be a close game. It's not going to be like the last two games to blow it either way. I think it's going to be a close game, and it might go into overtime. Justin? I think overtime would be fun, but again, I'm I'm all in favor of, of the abs taking the next Who cares minute. about fun? This is hockey. I don't care about fun. You want fun? Watch the Montreal Canadiens lose. I don't care about that, that's fun. Not fun. That, that's not fun. That's called depressing. Let's get our facts right. <laughs> depressing? <laughs> yeah, depressing. And it's called le poo -poo. Yeah, le poo -poo, that's right. Right, exactly. Steve, but yeah, uh, I think the abs do it. Yeah, I, I agree with all four of these guys. You know, they're talking about – yeah, and you said the same thing, Joe. Fun. I, I think it's, this – game four is probably going to be the most enjoyable game because I think both teams are going to be looking to push the uh, push the agenda. Uh, I, I'm going to go with Tampa because I'm biased, uh, and I think that this goes back – I'm hey – I, I, Marty's over here laughing, but but he knows that I tell it like it is, like Jesse the Body Ventura. Uh, I, I am I am completely one hundred percent biased. Uh, I I think this goes back to Colorado two two, and everybody then starts piling on the Avs. Can they get? Can they do what it takes to to get the job done? Uh, we'll find out because I I think it's going to be best of three coming up uh, here for the weekend. See, Marty was laughing because he texted me now to ask Steve about Andonica Sue not going on with Tampa. Steve, where does he sign on? Well, uh, that's because the Buccaneers went and signed Akeem Hicks instead. Um, you know, to be honest, I don't know. I, I you know, I think Andonica Sue may hang it up. I, I think he may be done. I think he may say, I've had enough of this. He's got so many other things that he is working on outside of the realm of football. I, I don't think people understand just how busy he was last year. To me, I thought I thought he was going to hang it up before last uh, before last season. So uh, to come back and go one more year, uh, I was happy to see him. Uh, but uh, he has so many uh, outside interests, outside, or I should say interests outside of football. He may hang it up. So we'll see. All right, you're requesting some soccer scores. 
I need to. Yeah, I need to get. He's I, texting no, somebody. I need. I, I, yeah, I tell me some soccer scores. Tell me soccer scores so I can fall asleep. I need to fall asleep. Tell me some soccer scores. All right. Scores. So uh, with, with this panel, the, uh, does anybody have other questions that they or the, anything that they want to add before we close it out? Has Nobody anyone has anything? anything? No, no, not at has all. Anybody all right. what? Has anybody what? Has anyone yeah, texted text Justin text with their hands? No? All right. Yeah, cool. the, somebody has said Justin Levine is a relations director for the Toronto Six. What has he done for the last six? months so uh go ahead wait 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 wait, say, wait. Uh, wait 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 joe just texted me taylor and he wants to know <laughs> when you're pulling that car with your teeth through a town do you have a map beforehand <laughs> or do you just go on the own own roads you that's just from joe follow, he just follow, the get voice. Her, get follow the voice get it right i asked her does she brush the teeth before she pulls the car that's yes. my question no here i guess you can't have false teeth if you're pulling the car with your teeth, right? <laughs> <laughs> only, only if you're, only if you're sponsored by Polyden or Super Polygrip. <laughs> All right. Just so it, again, it's a, it's a harness. So over backpack, and you just you just keep moving your feet. I actually here has been the hardest to pull or, or to lift or whatever for you as as for or no she's in a strong man competition strong women competition what's for you it's the hardest thing go ahead the, the hardest I'll, I'll tell i'll tell you what the hardest thing that taylor's had to carry it's this show for crying out loud <laughs> her shoulders no. are sore <laughs> exactly look at she's got joe she's on one not, side and justin on the other <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> um, I, at the show, so I had to do a 120 pound uh, circus dumbbell. So it's just like an oversized dumbbell. So if you look at like you go to the gym and it's a small thing, it's probably like three times Don't the size. Don't call Steve that. Don't call Steve that. Come on. <laughs> um, and then just tire flips. Like it, as soon as they get pretty big, uh, you have to muscle through it. So sometimes like it. I, I've had scars from it, but uh, it's you just got to work with it. And help you in the hockey uh, world there, just to be more physical, to push the people out of uh, the offensive slot, or how does that help you? Because obviously you I, – maybe I should ask Justin, is she the strongest person in the P in PHF or what? I think so, and I don't really think that there's much of a debate to that. But again, I, I'm I, I, I'm just biased here. But that's that's my take. Yeah, Go just ahead, a bunch uh, of core strength and a bunch of power, right? So if you think about, uh, I carried like a 200 pound sandbag, right? There's not a lot of people that are 200 pounds in my league, but at least it's like, hey, I have the ability to pick someone up that's 200 pounds and move them somewhat quickly. Hey, Justin, is she still the assistant captain for the Toronto Six? Haven't been informed otherwise, so I'm going to go with yes. <laughs> she knows what I'm getting at. All right. So, uh, Marty, start us off. Tell everybody how they could get uh, get a hold of you. By the way, for game three, uh, we're going to do a pregame show, 7 p.m., special pregame show. Game, and are we going into game four? Game four. Relax. Game four. Okay, game three. Just, Steve, get the off. Steve, pass the bourbon here. I like the, the, this. <laughs> watching Raw, watching the Blue Jays, watching the Stanley Cup. Pass the bourbon already. All right, go ahead, Marty. Game four. Game four. Game four. What do I expect or where you can reach me? I don't know what you're talking about oh now. Oh, my gosh. You're killing me. You guys are... Just move the <laughs> rock with your mouth. Go ahead. Oh, you can follow me Twitter, Instagram, OldLefty22. I will not be pulling any trucks. All right, and Marty will be back Wednesday night, uh, 11 p.m. Justin, since you're you're back here, tell everybody how they could get a hold of you. And for God's sakes, tell people about the Toronto Six. Um, yeah, you can find me on Twitter at JustinVHBS, and the Toronto Six continue to sign players. Look for one or maybe two this week um, as the roster continues to get – Wait, 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 hold on. Look for one you, – you're going to sign players. Look for one or two. Just reveal who – they already have signed them. Just reveal who they signed. Which player on the line here? Come on. Yeah, I can't do that, but I spoke with uh, one of the newer members about an mm, hour and a half ago, so I uh, might see a new face this week. Um, but, yeah, um, again, it's signing season, so I'll look for at least two this week. And uh, if you keep following at the Toronto 6th, there will be more as the summer goes on. 
Yeah, but nobody has the headphones that Taylor has there on the Toronto Six. All right, Taylor, tell everybody how they you haven't given anyone any uh, headphones, Joseph, except for her. I gave you one. I lost them. No comment. Yeah, no comment. Go ahead, Taylor. Uh, I'm on Instagram at Two Woods Training, so I will get some video of the events that I'm doing on Saturday, so you will be able to find those and watch those there. All right, and my good friend Steve Carney, soon to be in the Tampa Bay Hall of Fame. If I got John Nelson, I should get you in the Hall of Fame also. So go ahead, Steve. Yeah, you can finally get trucked by Taylor uh, and in the Stanley Cup final. I am on uh, Twitter and Instagram at Steve Carney. Check out Lightning Playoff Rewind tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. on Lightning Power Play, which you can find on the iHeartRadio app. It's also going to replay throughout the day tomorrow but yeah we are we're gonna be live at 9 a.m recapping tonight's uh big lightning win all right game three that's the review for uh stanley cup game three taken by the tampa bay lightning six to two colorado leads the series two games to one game four game four marty happens at the Amley arena on wednesday at 8 p.m we'll do pregame at seven and post game around 11 p.m Stay tuned for more great programming. Thank you, Justin, Marty, Steve, and Taylor. Thanks a lot, guys.